What's up, everybody? Nostalgia Goggles 4-3 here. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, we are playing the Phoenix Suns, original team of Oliver Miller. Uh, he's with us now, and we're going to beat them, like we did earlier this year. Not the Magic... Who is that? Spurs? Let's do this. What's up, Spitz the Greatest? As soon as my start button starts working. There we go. Uh oh. Oh. All right. It's like all the button presses caught up at once. So let's just double check the rules and options, make sure none of them got altered in this 16 bit world. All right. So, computer systems is off. Shot control is based on percentages. Let's load the series, or, yeah, there we go. February 23rd, 1996. 24 years and one day before this moment right now. Let's get our starting lineup in. Tonight. Based entirely on his performance last game, Muggsy Bogues will start for us for the first time. As will Sean Respert, Dale Ellis, Popeye Jones, and Sharon Wright. There we go. And before we get started, uh, speaking of former NBA players, uh, Brian Grant uh, was a former Phoenix Sun, among other teams. And shortly after his retirement, he was diagnosed with early onset Parkinson's, and he started a foundation to help people manage their symptoms, live better lives. So 10% of anything we make uh, tonight or any night that we play a team that uh, Grant played for, I will support his foundation. Or if you'd like to support them at any time, there is always a link in my Twitch profile or in the YouTube description if you're watching this for the future. Let's get right into it. I was thinking of your cookie conundrum from uh, last week's Spits the Greatest. I had entirely too much dessert tonight. I very nearly did not drink the chocolate milk, but, you know, show must go on. You're doing better now. I'm glad to hear it. Hope you have learned from your mistake. I'm not quite sure I've learned from mine. Time will tell. We're starting Kevin Johnson, future mayor of uh, Sacramento. Was the person who we injured uh, last time, only injury we've seen this season. It was on an intentional foul as well. Feel a little bad about that. Was not very sportsmanlike of me. Enjoy these beats. Oh. So, we are, um, as you may have seen on the schedule for um, having a spring break in March, uh, we'll be taking the week of the uh, 13th off, uh, because we'll be uh, out of town.
pretty much. Atlas at the buzzer does not quite pull it off. We are not off to the best start tonight. Right with the rebound. Kicks it back to Ellis, who drains a three. Yeah. No worries. Well, do what we can. Great rejection. Get the rebound. Come on. <laughs> ah. It's that dessert, that chocolate bar. I actually am giving up chocolate for Lent. I still had several uh, chocolate Christmas presents that I probably should have finished by now anyway, but certainly won't still be good in April. So I'm trying to work through them as well as work through the chocolate milk that I have. So I've eaten entirely too much chocolate tonight. I'm not sure if that's why I'm playing terrible basketball or not. I certainly hope not, because if it is, you have the same thing to look forward to tomorrow, I'm afraid. Three. I cannot believe this is a tie game, however. I feel like we're losing by about 30. Just been ugly, ugly basketball. There we go. Rushbert, pull that up. Nope. Our field goal percentage has got to be like two. We're actually in the lead. That is astonishing to me. It's a testament to the defense that uh, we've been playing, I think. So in non-basketball uh, video game news, I uh, this weekend I uh, saw uh, some friends uh, I'm staying with, uh, including Spitz the Greatest, actually. Uh, got a chance to uh, catch up with him a little bit, but we were uh, staying with a friend of my wife's uh, from childhood, and they had a uh, PS2 set up. It was the first time I have played... That's actually called time out in the substitution while I tell this story. A uh, few games uh, in several years, uh, including uh, DDR. It's the first uh, time I'd really had a chance to play that, especially in like a home setting where I got to do more than one song. And I also had uh, Gran Turismo, uh, first time I'd done that in a while as well. And it was fun. I had a good time. I'd been thinking recently, I haven't owned a PS2 in... Uh, sometime all of mine uh, died over the years but uh thinking that based on our conversations um other night about games that just bring joy um yeah like you're saying ddr blast from a past um that a lot of those games for me are actually on the ps2 and i've been besides nba live 96 for the super nintendo i forgot to park down that was a plus five lineup somehow. Uh -huh. yep. Well, all right. I've been considering uh, reinvesting in a PS2 at some point, and that really just seemed to uh, confirm my suspicion that that might be a wise idea.
It's a crazy time for collecting. How so? Is it because the stock market was down 4% today? Rumors that the PS5 is going to be fully backward compatible. People are scooping up old games, driving the market bananas. Thank you. Yeah, I had uh, heard those rumors. I'll uh, I'll believe it when I see it. Especially given the PS3, like. PS1 and PS2 software emulation seems achievable, although 100% compatibility with the PS2 library definitely does not seem achievable given the size of it and the complexity of emulating. But uh, that cell processor is just a weird one. Doesn't seem worth the trouble. There we go, Hubert Davis. Had a really quiet game the first time out. Now demonstrating that he is, in fact, a solid outside shooter. So far tonight, more solid than Tracy Murray. Though credit where credit's due, Murray was the hero of uh, last Wednesday's game. We started Alice because we decided to go with best plus minus at each position on the season, but uh, Murray actually significantly outplayed Ellis in our last game. It's crazy that a game like Metal Gear Solid 4 is stuck on the PS3. Yeah, I was thinking that about a lot of things. The cross-generation stuff is fascinating to me. Like, so I mentioned Gran Turismo uh, earlier. I do like uh, driving games, uh, driving sims, and I was reading about um, the uh, this game called uh, Enthusia, uh, which I had never heard of uh, before. It was a PS2 exclusive um, made by Konami. Um, it was a Gran Turismo type uh, sim racing game that some people say is still to this day the most realistic uh certainly console racing game and possibly the most realistic game at low speeds ever made i guess they took a different approach to the physics of it i couldn't um the page that they had linked to explaining it was uh no longer up on the internet and i haven't had a chance to check uh internet archive to see if i can read it but it said that they just took a different approach to it, uh, like a low-level emulation of uh, of driving physics instead of a high-level emulation that just allowed them to capture the feeling of cars better than even you know your your project cars, your forces on much more powerful hardware today. But that series is certainly never coming back. If not from the time of it, then. Uh, just from uh, Konami, as someone glibly put in a uh, forum that I was reading. Um, if Konami did try to bring it back, it would just be a pachinko machine these days. Similar with Metal Gear Solid, right? Unlikely to see a uh, true sequel. At least not anytime soon. One of our Rusper Ellis, Jones, and Davis. Metal Gear Solid doesn't need any more games. On that, we agree. I respect the ambition of what they were trying to do, but I just cannot get on those that wavelength.
Yeah, I've heard that the fifth one was kind of a glorious failure in some ways. Um, that it didn't quite come together as a game, but the parts that worked really, really worked. I have not played it. I haven't seriously played one since two. That was about when I realized that they were not the games for me. Ugh. So that's an interesting statement, if I can unpack that there. So Spitz just said Metal Gear Solid V, gameplay-wise, is probably the best in the series. But So my question then would be, what what kind of a pass was that, Delos? Uh, but my, my question related to the chat is, uh, like, what other factors matter? Like... If it's the best in terms of gameplay, wouldn't that just de facto make it the best video game in the series? Oh, Rusper. Ugh, Alice. This is not good. Some people say it is the best in the series. Not Spitz the greatest. I can't believe on that inbounds play no one was moving that whole time. My JV coach would have put us all on the bench. Embarrassing. Guess we weren't going to out-rebound Charles Barkley. Wow. Shut up and jam. I just need to stop with the threes. They're not working. We're also getting murdered on the boards. Absolutely murdered. Deceased. There we go. Yes, Antonio Davis. Nicely done. Yes, yeah, Lineup does need to say. We'll give him one more minute. Sample size and all. Tony would have missed that. Nice. There we go. Rusper from way out. Whoa. Where am I? There I am. Lost track of myself. Someone get that board. Yes. Pink knee. Or Jones? I don't remember who's in. I think it might be Jones. Nope. It's actually a great game. So the first time uh, we played the Suns, it might have actually been the first game you watched, we only won by two. Very close matchup. And tonight shaping up to be similar. There you go, Davis. Oh! Joe Klein. Terrible. <laughs> I ejected that man. They always put in most of the next lineup. Bogues. Davis. Murray. Pinkney. That's supposed to be Sharon right, but whatever. We'll improvise a little. And that was a minus five lineup. Likely never to be used again.
There we go. Already plus one in zero seconds of playtime. Get that board, Pinkney. Yes, Pinkney. Murray from way out. Hanging out in Scottsdale. That was a greedy three. But as mentioned, I don't call this channel Nostalgia Goggles for two. I need to start making stuff happen. Murray likes this lineup. Board. No. <laughs> Celebrate the goaltending. You've earned it. Nope. Give that back. Nice. Pink knee. Ah. Oh. Pink knee had it, and he lost it. Davis, wide open. Suns don't like that. Crowd recovered quickly, though. Oh, man. I am just not noticing where the out-of-bounds line is tonight. I lose by less than four. Of, ah, Pinkney, no. <laughs> Come on, Tracy. First of all, why don't why wouldn't you take the layup? Secondly, you're a professional basketball player. <laughs> Everything about that possession was bad, indeed. All right, Muggsy, you got this. Take it in. No, you're not going to take it in. Oh, get back. Oh, boy. Wesley Person getting his revenge. Yeah, I should have my head over that one. Good thing it's almost halftime. The team does need a talking to, you're right. <laughs> we broke their chemistry. It's fine. It'll be fine. Wow! Bye, right, Hubert. Defense, guys. Nice. There you go, Davis. I'm actually calling uh, Antonio Davis the player of the half. Making things happen on both ends of the court. There you go, Pinkney. Good foul. Oh, come on! Oh. Oh. 
boy. All right, so that was a minus two left line up. Oh, that actually had Davis in it, not right. All right. When was the last time we were down at half? Um, I don't remember. Which 11 franchises? Yeah, right. The Toronto Huskies. It's one of them. 10% of anything we make tonight goes to the Brian Grant Foundation. They are helping people with Parkinson's disease manage their symptoms, live better lives. You can support them directly from my Twitch profile or from the YouTube description if you're watching from the future. Thanks for support, or speaking of support, Thank you to Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist, Spitz the Great, Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder, for all of their support. They help me do what I do, and I appreciate it. All right, new lineup time. Major change, indeed. Right, Murdoch. And Rusbert. Ellis. Jones and Miller. Give that a go. Like all these lineups, this is one we've never used before in a basketball game. I was about to say we need some higher percentage shots, but then they left me completely 100% wide open for three. So, I suppose the way Ellis has generally been shooting this season, that is a higher percentage shot. Well, where am I going? That makes me feel a little better about some of the out-of-bounds stuff. My uh, stick occasionally wants to pull down and right. You know, old technology and all that. So that's my excuse for running out of bounds, and I'm sticking to it. All right, let's reset. Squandered that fast break. There we go. You know, it's not just the higher percentage shots, though. They are actually good. There we go, Murdoch. Because you may recall earlier, we were shooting short jumpers and they were not falling. So we appear to have found our lineup. Just like that, we're up to 10. <laughs> well, I'm glad they didn't call that a shooting call. I'm a little surprised that sometimes in the computer pump fakes, they give them two free throws. Sometimes they even give them three free throws. Okay, Jay. Nope. Stuffed.
Oh, left AC green wide open. I'm going to blame up myself for that one. Nice respirate. Good drive. Which time is this? Easy, Oliver. Nice. Oh. Alice is mad now. He's trying to get it back. Right on Q plus 12 lineup for the second best lineup we have had. I will try last one. I always go back to these guys. This doesn't work. Stoudemire, Davis, Murray, Pinkney. And the other Davis. Excuse me. We are up 11. Hubert Davis. Terrific three point shooting tonight. Not stopping them now. Oh no, Barkley. That's Betsy. You had made a comment. Uh, when I had said it was nice to have two uh, three-point shooting options on the court, that I don't usually need more scoring options. And you're right, usually I don't. But in games like this one, where it's hard to make things happen, it is real. Stoudemire, very good. That's for you, Spitz the Greatest. Patron at our buy a bucket tier. Thank you for your support. Anyway, in games where it's hard to make things happen, it is really nice if I'm getting double teamed or if one guy on the court is just not making the threes to be able to have someone else to pass it to. Makes a big difference. Oh! Murray loses it. To Hot Rod Williams. Oh! Bad passing. Davis for three, in traffic, he can't miss. Good call ref. All right, Damon, see what you got. Not three in the key though. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen a shooting guard do that in this game. Good D, keep the pressure up. Davis might just get player of the game. I don't think that's ever happened. The uh, AI being our highest scorer. It might just tonight. There you go, Damon. Take that all the way. No, you're going to stop. Right, you know what? You put up a three. 
Alright, bad idea. Go Pinkney. Or whichever one you are. Great assist. I take it back. This is our lineup. Trailed at the half. Up approximately 30 by the end of the third. Indeed, what a turnaround. We haven't had a turnaround like that since the uh, Lakers game, I don't think. Which might also be the last time we trailed at the half. Wow, Davis actually missed one. Other Davis. For two. No, other Davis again. There we go. by 26, which makes it plus 15. Best lineup of the season so far. All right, Toronto Huskies. I'm not going to bother trying to fill out, figure out the rest of them. There you go. I'm not even going to read them all. You all can read that. All right, these guys will come back, but I do want to... I know my other patrons have both expressed interest in having their buckets come from Muggsy Bogues if possible. So we'll run our Bogues lineup. Best performing one from Wednesday's game. Bogues, Rusper, Murray, Jones, and Wright. All right, Muggsy, Let's see what you got. Take it in. Oh, it's all right. It's all right, you're 5'3", so it'll happen sometimes. Oh, no. Good board, Rusper. Get it again. No. Oh, Barkley. Oh. Oh, step back. Oh, man. Oof. It's not a good night. You get Muggsy points. There we go. That but purchased for us by Tim Troy, humanitarian and philanthropist. Patron at our buy a bucket tier. Muggsy Bugs booster. Aren't we all? Thank you for your support, Mr. Troy. Wow, blows by the whole defense. That one for Dr. Ambassador Dortmunder. In fact, they've Metal Gear Solid. So this game is in hand. Perhaps your hand. I am holding a Super Nintendo Entertainment System arcade stick. But go ahead.
you would argue that Metal Gear Solid V is not the best in the series because it totally loses the forest through the trees and is a bloated mess. I actually, hot take, that sentence to me, bloated and unfinished, that whole statement to me applies to virtually everything from last gen and current gen, ever since the internet started getting involved. Once they knew they could patch it after release, they stopped finishing things. And it was a lot easier to have scope creep and feature creep. And then they started letting big data make their design decisions instead of designers making design decisions. Fight me. Good timing, Muggsy. Just about to let our other lineup run a little more. Stoudemire, Hubert Davis, Murray, Pinckney, and Tony Davis. take a stun you into silence. Please feel free to disagree with me. Danny Ainge did not be playing. It's unfinished and spits the greatest opinion because uh, Kojima doesn't have anyone that can reel him in. So the game experienced mission creep until Konami came down hard and told him to finish it. But each time he finished it in an incomplete way. Right, women, Tisdale. Better just park it in the key. Let's give and go. Yes, I do want a hot take. Go ahead. Hotter than my take? I basically just said every video game that came out in the last 15 years is not good. Which is a little bit exaggerated. I have enjoyed some games in that time. Kojima is overrated and needs a lot of help. Well, I don't have a I don't have a dog in that fight. Uh, as mentioned, Metal Gear Solid is not my cup of hot chocolate or chocolate milk. At any rate, so. Pink me, yes! Hot take, Ed Pinkney is underrated and needs no help. I don't know, I mean, video games are uh, one of those uh, media that I don't think they should be trying to be like movies. In fact, I think that is my problem with Metal Gear Solid specifically and modern games more generally, is that they're trying to be movies and shouldn't be. But they are like movies in the sense that they are a more collaborative art form, right? I mean, it takes way more people to make a game, at least a 3D game of that kind of scope, than it does to, say, write a novel. So, you know, a lot of people working together. The team certainly is a factor. Oh! I knew it as soon as I hit pass. I need to get over that line. Goodbye, everybody. There it is.
Nice. As insane as Metal Gear Solid 4 gets, it's a great love letter to the fans. It's fan service done well. We'll always defend it. But I was just thinking about uh, fan service uh, recently in relation to that. That, like, you were talking about uh, the recent Star Wars and Indiana Jones films. And how I do like fan service to a degree, but it can't just be fan service. Like, I'm thinking of the shot in Force Awakens where Harrison Ford walks out, and I, I didn't see that one in the theater, I saw it at home, but Harrison Ford walks out, and you can just tell that they, like, built in an applause break for when people saw it in the theater, but all they did was have him walk on screen. He didn't, he hadn't done anything yet, other than just be there. And that's the kind of fan service I think people think of when they are being pejorative about fan service. Contrast with, say, the way they handled the you wouldn't like me when I'm angry lines in the first Avengers movie, which I think most people would consider to be a good use of fan service. Um, it was breaking the fourth wall, everybody got the reference, but they didn't just throw it in arbitrarily. It wasn't just the reference itself. Player of the game, Tracy Murray. Well, hard to argue with 59 points, six rebounds. Sixty of our eighty-eight shots were from three. Got brutalized on the boards, but it's usually our uh, defense makes up for it. Quick look at the player stats. Hubert Davis only had 26. Felt like more. 35 for Ellis. What did uh, Rusper end up? Only five for him? Wow, it really felt like more than that for him. Still goal percentage. 75% from the field for Hubert Davis. Well as 73% from behind the arc. Not a bad night's work. Terrible offensive rebounding. Just awful. But five blocks for Stoudemire, turning to form. Him. Well, adding four assists, too. Let's check out Phoenix. No big surprise there. That actually looks like a pretty typical Phoenix stat line for the era. Maybe other than Hot Rod Williams not missing a shot. First half was real bad. It's true. I cannot defend our play in the first half. It's one of those nights where shot chart by quarter will be more interesting than it sometimes is. But I will take some of the credit for the arousing pep talk that I gave the team at halftime. There you go, 52 first. Oof, that second quarter. 8 for 23. Brutal. And then 74% in the third quarter. 76% though. There you go. About from 3. 55, 52, 33, 62, 82% in comparable amounts of shots taken. I guess we diminished a little bit as the game went on. So we were taking some smarter shots, probably, there. Bert Bogues got his points. Hubert Davis. On fire. Murray, I guess I should shoot from uh, that spot on the left more often. we go. What did I do? Pretty much the same. All right. That looks 
like that. So we are actually on pace. Uh, thanks very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And then as you saw tomorrow night, the 25th, uh, which is actually my mom's birthday, uh, it'll be the 25th in 1996 as well as we head to Reunion Arena, play the Dallas Mavericks, and then uh, continue our Texas road trip with Houston on Wednesday, 9 p.m. Happy birthday. I'll pass that along. Thanks for watching. Spits the greatest. Thanks for watching. Anybody on YouTube, I hope you all have an excellent evening.